tasteless fan service character. Come on in. Hey, I'm important and useful, I'll have you know. I'm the daughter of the former... <laughs> yeah, okay, Miss... Stephanie. Stefartney. All right, I'll prove it to you. I challenge you to rock, paper, scissors. Okay, to make it easy for you, I'm gonna go rock. Okay, Steph. That just means don't go scissors. Fuck! <laughs> But what? Fucking idiot. Yeah, fucking idiot. Jesus Christ, Stephanie. Yeah, Stephanie. I've never met someone so stupid. Oh my god. There is a certain genre in anime that everyone seems to adore and loves watching. No, 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 I'm not talking about hentai. Perhaps we'll deal with that topic in some other video. Now, today we'll be talking about the characters who got mysteriously transported or teleported to some mysterious world, if you will. As you've already guessed, today we will be talking about the top 10 isekai anime, but before that, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and without further ado, let's start the video. Coming up at number 10, we have Demon Lord Retry. Akira Ono, a typical man with a 9-to-5 job who plays an MMORPG by the name Infinity Game, finds out servers of his favorite game are announced tomorrow. So he decided to play the game one last time, but ironically gets transported to the game as Hakuto Kunai, his Demon Lord character who has a bizarre, carefree, and easygoing personality, gets attacked by people all around the world due to his so-called Demon King personality. However, don't be fooled by his facade. This guy can easily wipe out armies on his own. But that's over a 1 in 6 million chance! Wow. How?! In my world, we have this thing called believing in the heart of the cards. Ignore that. Coming up at number 9, we have No Game, No Life. Sora has a crush on Shiro, even though they are siblings. Don't tell me you were expecting some mind-blowing plot from an isekai anime. Putting that aside, they both are hardcore gamers known by the name Blank. Blank is a name given to four legendary characters who dominate all games and are ranked number one in every game there is. They are so skilled that even hackers don't stand a chance against them. The story starts when they one day receive an anonymous mail from a self-proclaimed god who is the ruler of a world where everything is decided by games. They start living there and shock everyone with their extraordinary deductive skills. It's more of a psychological anime, if you will. Coming up at number 8, we have Konosuba. What would you do if you die as a teenager in your first life, not to mention in a ridiculous fashion, and then gets reincarnated in another world and asked to choose any one thing? I don't know about you guys, but hell, I'll pick a god by my side, and that's exactly what our main character Kazuma did. He prioritizes Aqua, a god of that world, above all things and later comes to regret his decision with every fiber of his being. As that so-called god is as useless as it comes. Konosuba is a type of anime that couldn't care less about its plot and just throws characters in a messed up situation to get a good laugh out of it. <laughs> Coming up at number 7, we have Moshoku Tensei. Again, we have a boy who got killed in his previous life, however this time, the story introduces more depth to the plot, killing the parents of our main character and, for some reason, he decided not to attend his parents' funeral. After some series of strange events, our main character, Rudius Gray, wakes up in a body of a newborn child and soon realizes that he is reincarnated in the world of sword and sorcery. He aims to be successful in this life and takes initiative to make this oath a reality. He meets every kind of person along the way, but above all becomes the student of demon magician Roxy Magurdia. <laughs> 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 
ちの子にあざたりしてんだ。殺すぞ<笑> Coming up at number six, we have Ari Ferretta from Most Commonplace to World Strongest. Hajime, along with all of his classmates and teacher, is mysteriously summoned to a fantasy world, followed up by entitling them as heroes of this world. RMC is a scared, pathetic, and weak guy who happens to be a synergist. One day, their party gets into a wholesome situation while they were exploring a dungeon, and one of the party members takes full advance of the chaos and purposefully hits Hajime by his magic, resulting in Hajime getting knocked down to the deepest point of the dungeon. However, this guy survives and becomes the polar opposite of his former self, and now the only thing he gives a damn about is returning to his former world with the second season airing right now. It's a must watch for overpowered troop lovers. <laughs> Coming up at number five, we have Problem Children Are Coming from Another World, Aren't They? Three little children embarking on a mission to overthrow evil demon lords, spiced with action and a bucket full of comedy. I'm sure Isekai fans will love this amazing short series. RMC Izayoi is the typical main protagonist of the story, although two others are extremely powerful as well. However, RMC is the main cream of the cake. His level of arrogance goes perfectly along with his overpowering strength. To help his clan's little garden become the strongest one and can never look down on as the weakest clan, he goes out and messes with some of the big bosses out there. RMC is the strongest Esper, ranging from telepathy to teleportation. His power is known by the named code unknown. So, if you're looking for some hot sauce, then definitely try this one. <laughs> Coming up at number four, we have Cautious Hero. The hero is overpowered, but overly cautious. As you might have already guessed from the title of the anime, Seiya Ryugen, who also happens to be the main character of this anime, is summoned to an unknown world by a low ranking goddess. Are all the gods useless in this list? After summoning, he is asked to save a world. However, our boy refuses at first, but eventually, he agrees to help in saving the world. But little did she know, Seiya is a cautious freak who doesn't fight until he is absolutely sure of his victory. However, don't you dare consider him weak. This guy is so strong that he manages to piss off the majority of gods in heaven and make the rest of them fall for him. Overall, it's a good watch with hilarious characters and an overpowered and badass main character. I'll be back, dude. <laughs> Coming up at number three, we have Angel Beats. The story is set in a world where people can't die until they have regrets or unsatisfied arguments in this world. The story starts when our MC Yuzuru Otanashi, who happens to be an average guy with an average life, ends up in the afterlife. There he meets Yuri Nakamura, a big boot. <laughs> I mean, a beautiful girl who is leading a rebellion against an unseen god, and she ends up inviting him to be part of her rebel squad, Afterlife Battlefront. This gang is brimming with capable members, and I forgot to mention that cute innocent girl is their leader and is way more badass than any of them. She is one lolly you definitely don't want to mess with. Overall, anime has some of the best characters this genre has to offer, with breathtaking fight scenes and some hidden plots and secrets. Coming up at number two, we have Rising of the Shield Hero. Four heroes are summoned to a fantasy game-like realm. Everyone is equipped with a legendary weapon to fight off against the waves of catastrophe to protect the people of the world. Naofumi Iwatani, who happens to be our main character, is equipped with a shield, and because of that, everyone considers him useless as he lacks any offensive power. 
As if all that wasn't enough, our boy ends up getting betrayed in the first 10 minutes of the story and is accused of raping the princess of the nation. After all this, he decides to leave the nation alone and find some dependable allies along the way. Make no mistake, RMC is overpowered even with a shield and has two beautiful ladies by his side with a second season coming up this year. I personally recommend this one. <laughs> Coming up at number one on our list, we have the King's Avatar. If you were looking for a badass male lead with a relaxed type attitude, then this entry is for you. Yi Zhui is a godlike player in MMORPG glory and holds every record there is in the game. His character, One Autumn Leaf, is feared even among other professionals. 